We are about to embark on one of the craziest projects yet. This kind of came a little sooner than we were expecting, but it's I in. Always do. <laughs> It's a shared problem now. More of a childhood dream, I guess you would say, right? Yeah, the opportunity came up and it's... Especially if you like cars, this is like God tier like thing. Yes. So and it's, it's, uh, I support this 100%. And you know we're going to do it right. I, somebody's coughing yeah. right now. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. Dude, that looks sick. Yeah, let's go park next to him. Oh, it's so nuts. It'd be crazy if somebody bought that, you know? Yeah, somebody's a lucky guy. There she goes. We're following her to the shop to make sure we don't get ripped off. That is the definition of a race car. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to break my ribs and my shoulders to fit in that thing. That's, I just saw the suspension working. <laughs> yes. I need some BB decimals now. So beautiful. Let me just see if it rolls forward first. Alright, we're good. Do you want to push it? Do you see this? <laughs> she can hit the front corner. Let's get a little bit more wood, I think. She's gonna do it. There we are. That is epic. As we get it, this is exactly how it looks. So much to go over. You can tighten and loosen this. Oh, no way. Just like your alternator, pretty much. Yeah. So we don't have a steering wheel, but we have wheel dollies. The dollies that do the wheels. And so I was saying to the guy that previously owned it that we could probably pick the car up. My PR for deadlifting yeah. is like 1,800 pounds. Whoa. Yeah. All the way there, all the way. Oh my god, I picked the whole. I thought it was just a pick this up and picked the whole. That was whole impressive. <laughs> I pulled the crotch muscle up. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie. Come on, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculously light. This is a real race car. You can't push it from there. place to put this. Dude, you got a new table. What are you doing? Come over here. Nobody cares oh, about that thing anymore. I love it. <laughs> it's even more flat. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it is time to break this car down. We want to see everything about it. There's so many unknowns. I don't get what it is in many sense. You see them from a distance, but not like this. Isaiah wanted to see what was under this panel before we finished eating and not filming, but I made him you wait. Let me do it then? Nope. You, you're over there. You're working, you, have to, you have to work on uh, three rotor oil coolers. Sorry. I already did this. Sorry, too bad. Let's see what is under door number two. Oh, look at that. We got some honeycombs going on there. That's for structural rigidity, of course. Oh, coil over this coil over. <laughs> yeah, this is hella flush slammed. These are technically shocks, but they're like 200,000 pounds per inch. A lot of ways of adjusting it. Look, at we have all these things. We know how long they need to be. You can actually see where my feet sees go. That's the steering rack. It almost looks like where the dry sump would go. The old school 7-Up look. Sorry, we're a house of Baja Blast here though. The very first thing 
is make sure I fit. <laughs> Your hands are warm. <laughs> That's why they love so. I, I don't know if I'm gonna fit. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty comfortable. This is gonna get claustrophobic. It's not like that. That's like stage one. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, my feet aren't even touching the pedals yet. Oh, you have to like go tomb status. Yeah, they're really laying in there at like a 15, 20, 30 degree angle. Well, yeah. put them in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> this, like I said, this, oh. is, this is gonna be your coffin. My feet are just touching the pedals. Oh, you know what? Unlike the four rotor though, I have room for the helmet. <laughs> Look at how low my feet are. His feet are literally all the way like right here. Yeah. The ceremony, you know, just uh, you go, sir. Oh. That is a lot of room. Oh, uh, I've got side mirrors. <laughs> so I need a steering wheel, but you know what I need more? I feel like I'm missing one little thing. I'm gonna have to get out to show you guys what I'm talking about. <laughs> my, my shoulders, um, I've got child birthing shoulders for hips, or hips for shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder? <laughs> yeah, that's the, my brother Kev. He would not be able to sit in this at all. He gets claustrophobic on an airplane. <laughs> So, Race Quip provided the helmet and everything for the four rotor, and that's staying right here. These guys have been wonderful. But, I got a little something special for this helmet, and it's one of the reasons that made me pull the trigger on this car way too soon. Right there. What's the point of having that It's upside down, but. <laughs> I pull it nice and slow. There we are. This is a Valvoline vehicle, it's obviously gonna be running Valvoline. This video is not brought to you by Valvoline. My life is though. <laughs> Valvoline's been amazing. Uh, they don't even know about this car, but it just, it just, when I saw it, it had to be. So we're gonna put the Valvoline thing up there. I, I'm not getting rid of the, even though there's a race quip there, keeping the race quip there. Cause that's, I'm very proud of that. But race quip and Valvoline. I want to run through what we discover as we're looking at it. I don't have a full understanding of indie cars. There are probably maybe 10 people in the world, more, but you know what I mean? There's not many people that really know these cars. It's a very boutique, culty world, almost like rotary engines. But first of all, let's talk about aero. This is adjustable downforce for the front on each side. I'm assuming you tune that for the track. It's not active. We could make it active. Yeah, oh my God, we could wire uh, solenoids to pull these up. Oh, hit the brakes and they yeah. pop up. We're not part of a racing class. We're allowed to do whatever the hell we want. Already we got NACA ducks. Uh, this one's probably for my balls. The suspension, I am so curious to model this and figure out what is going on with the suspension. Those are hollow. I'm hoping that, that you can see these massive air vents in here. That's gonna be radiators. And what gives me hope that a rotary can run in here properly is this button right here. Boost to me means turbocharging, which means extra cooling needed. So that's very exciting to me. 15,000 RPM is also very exciting to me. The transmission has to be geared for high RPM. Rotaries love high RPM. It's a little tall for a rotary, but hey, we can do it. We can of course take these off, but I'm assuming that there's gonna be radiators. I don't know if we're gonna run an intercooler. First thought in my mind is, let's do meth, because that means no intercooler. We'll get back to that. That means back here is somebody's gonna be pouring tons of fuel into either this part right here. That's a vent, that's for fill okay. right there. Okay, so the, the fill is over. What actually gets me interested is this right here. That's for air jacks. That's oh. This is where the engine goes. And so of course we're gonna have, maybe we just mount the turbo up here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, some sort of snorkel or whatever. This is before Zeus fasteners were a thing. So this is a sprung bolt, just like how Zeus fasteners are. Yeah. So like, I mean, everything's carbon as you can see. So we got carbon ducts. And then the back is like, this is like a missile like an airplane, you get more NACA ducts. And back here, something that's very exciting is I see a welded exhaust right there. There's a heat shielding on the control arms right here. All the venting for the uh, brakes, drive shafts. These are so hollow, that, that's amazing. And then a true chassis mounted rear wing. It looks like we can hook it onto things. <laughs> Tons of mounting bolts and shit like that. Positions for this, that's gonna change camber gain. Right now it'd be, this would be at maximum camber gain because of how low that's coming down. Toe, double A arm, that's actually cool and easy. Good news is we have a transmission. Very, very important. The title of the video doesn't say, it just suggests 
what we're talking about right here. This thing has got no engine, Ted. What could we put in here? <laughs> Man, I wonder what would fit in here. We'll come up with something. What, what sort of way do you think? A two, three rotor? Four rotor sounds nice. This is more of like a skeleton compared to the actual transmission or gearbox. You can start off with the two, you know, and if you get bored, the, the, you got a, a few four rotors just chilling somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Cooling is going to be the biggest issue. You can see the fuel tank, we got fuel lines capped off. We've got, I think this is probably a uh, throttle. A reverse. There's got to be a transmission linkage. I think that's what that thing was at my arm. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. And I got another thing here. I want to make sure we adapt to this exhaust piece. This is where it goes to. Whoa, look at the arms have all these notches. Where's the... Where's the spring? Honestly, I think these are temporary uh, pieces. Oh, hold. Those hold. are expensive as shit. So. I see that the radiators are definitely gonna go. There's tons of cooling we can do in here. There's this nice monocoque <laughs> that you have here. The cool thing about this, and even with the F1 cars, I've been kind of almost yeah. the same thing for the sense the engine and gearbox are all a part of the actual chassis and kind of tie it all together. That's why the suspension parts are part of that. That makes perfect sense. So if, if this was just chilling in the air, there, there's no support for all yeah. the air suspension. So we'll have to build a, a rotary engine rear to front cover where it wedges between these two. The biggest challenge I have looking at this right now, the input shaft is down there.